Granny and Grandpapa. What on earth is that? Hello, everyone. Wow, a talking card. Uh, who sent you? Granny Thistle. My mother. And I am here to invite you all to a magical party. Party, party. To get to the party, you'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. I'm always a bit worried when we go there. Granny's house is so full of magic. But don't you fairies like magic? Yes, but Granny and Grandpapa like dangerous magic. So their house isn't very child-friendly. That's one way of putting it. Hello! Ah! Magic in the elf tree. Shoo! You're invited to a magical party. Me? There must be some mistake. You are the wise old elf? Yes. You're invited to Granny Sissel's party. You'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. Hmm. This magic bus is very late. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you coming to Granny's party? Uh, yes. I seem to have been invited. I was at college with your Granny and Grandpapa a long, long time ago. Typical. You wait ages for a magic bus, then three come at once. All aboard! I don't like this. There's no driver. I don't need a driver. I'm a magic bus. Hold tight. Go up. Whoa. I really don't like this. Next stop, Granny and Grandpapa's. <laughs> When we get to Granny and Grandpapa's, don't touch anything that looks magical. Yes, Mummy. Remember, Granny's magic can be a bit strong. Yes, Daddy. What about Grandpapa Thistle? Grandpapa Thistle? Oh, he's completely bonkers. Whatever you do, don't ask him about his hobbies. Grandpapa! <laughs> Last stop, Granny and Grandpapa. Everybody off! Ooh. Wow! A castle in the clouds! Ooh. Let's ring the bell. No, Ben. Don't touch it. Don't touch anything. I'll ring the bell. Oh, it seems to be an ordinary bell this time. Usually something jumps. Ooh. Ah. I am Surpriser the Spider. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, you guessed it was me. Hello, Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Hello, Granny Thistle. Hello, Ben. Welcome to my party. Ah, oh, Cedric. Hello, Millicent. Come along inside, darlings. We're going to have such fun. You've got a rainbow inside your house. Yes, rainbows are so much better than stairs, unless the weather changes. Oh, dear. Looks like a storm is brewing. Oh. Maybe you should think about getting some ordinary stairs one day, Mother. Ordinary stairs? What would be the fun in that? Or like a fairy cake? Mmm! These cakes are amazing! Mmm! Yum, yum, yum! Delicious! Of course, they are magical fairy cakes. Mummy, why can't we have magic cakes like this? We don't need to do everything by magic, darling. Honestly, it's as if your parents think the magic will run out if they use it too much. Cedric, you're not eating. Will you have a fairy cake? Well, all right. <coughs> Whoa, I'm flying. Put me down. Oh, well, if you insist. Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Wise old elf, did you 
did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. We had such fun. You simply adored magic. Yes, but that was before the incident of the monkey kittens. <gasps> the monkey kittens. What happened? I think I've got a picture of that too. No. Oh, well, another time. Now for the party games. Hooray! We still have to finish Hide and Seek from last time. We never found Grandpapa. He's been hiding for a year. Hiding? For a whole year? Yes, he does take the game very seriously. We'll find him. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpapa, where are you? What's that? It's a shoe tree. Wow. <laughs> Grandpapa Thistle. Grandpapa. Ooh, fish swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpapa Papa Pa. Grandpapa Papa 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 Papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa! And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello, Victor. Cedric, old bean. This is my best friend, Ben. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Don't ask him about his hobbies. What's that? Hobbies? You want to hear about my hobbies? Uh, well... Did you know I've been doing some inventing? Yes. Last year you showed us your jam trousers. Did I? What about my custard shoes? Those too. Oh, I've taken up lots of new hobbies, like woodwork. Sounds quite harmless. Here's a wooden chair I made. It looks surprisingly like an ordinary chair. Yes, but then I asked myself, why should a chair have legs and not be able to walk? Here, boy. It can walk. Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs! I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten or twenty-three? Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling, and I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? Aren't the stars beautiful, Granny? They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. Look, we're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Where to now? Home? No. Let's head to the sun and see what it's made of. Groovy. Today's adventure starts at the little 
castle. Daisy and Poppy go bananas. Bang, 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 bang. Ah, Daisy, Poppy. Bang, bang. Stop making that awful noise. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh, this is too loud. Daisy, Poppy, I'm taking your wands away and putting them in the cupboard. <laughs> Mummy is right. No more wands until you learn to use them properly. Ah, oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, who's that? Ahem, Granny Thistle is here. Oh, no, my mother. Granny Thistle. Granny, Granny. Granny. Darlings, 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 marvellous to see you. Holly, give your granny a hug. <laughs> Hello, Granny Thistle. Oh, young Ben Elf, always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> What's wrong with the twins? Why are you so sad? Wandy, Wandy. <gasps> Where are your wands? I've taken them away for now. But how will they do magic without wands? Uh, maybe it's better if Daisy and Poppy don't do magic. Well, they're your children, darling, and the last thing I want to do is interfere. At least Holly has a wand. Oh, yes. Holly's having magic lessons from me. What have you learned, Holly? I can turn people into frogs. Or rabbits. Frogs? You're still on frogs? And rabbits. But that's baby magic. What about the hard stuff, like putting pink spots in the sky? <laughs> or making the trees sing? La, 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 la. No, thank you, Mother. We don't have much need for singing trees. La, la. Or pink spots in the sky. OK, you're the boss. Anyway, I've brought presents. Presents for the children. Presents! Holly, I've brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, OK? OK. And for Daisy and Poppy, two grown-up wands. Wandy! Wandy! But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great-grandparents, Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story. Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> this is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. I wonder if that had something to do with Granny. Hello, is
Miss Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> They're out in the wild. Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm. This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies. Walkies. Trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time. Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun. That's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit. <laughs> ah! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas. <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana. <laughs> oh, darlings. There you are. I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. Chicken! Clap, clap! What? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I'm a hedgehog. Groovy. <laughs> Pebbles. You've turned me to stone. Maybe not so good. <laughs> Holly, I think it's time for you to rub that ring now. What's she saying? The ring? Rub the ring? I think she's saying rub the ring. But didn't you say not to rub the ring? I've changed my mind. It's not good fun anymore. Rub the ring. All right, here we go. Huh? What happened? We're back in the little castle. And everything's back to normal. No walking trees or spots in the sky. Yes, Holly rubbed the magic ring. It turned everything back as it was. That is some powerful ring. Yes, the ring belonged to your great-grandfather, Neville the Naughty. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the little darlings. They're all tired out. Story, story. You like a story? Of course, my darlings. Dangerous magic for toddlers. How long is my mother staying for? Two weeks. Chapter One, How to Turn Mice into Dragons. <laughs> dragon, dragon. <laughs> 
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <coughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <coughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? Oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. And Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. But he ate the letter. <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. Bye. Nanny Plum. Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum, I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby ladybirds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. <sighs> They're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've 
brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How oh, adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds! Baby birds! Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds! Ruff, 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 ruff! Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof, thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh! oh. oh. And what is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh! 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 oh. Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Oh. Goodness me, what a mess. Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind, I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. Uh, it's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs. Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages, getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> We had a big 
big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp. Please help us, King Thistle. Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a <laughs> slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, Hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Hey, eh? What? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Dad, 
Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? <whistles> Abracadabra! <whistles> Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <whistles> <whistles> Again? <whistles> <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. <laughs> Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. <laughs> Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put the wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, oh you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello. 
Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes. What shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Climb up that hair, Ben. <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf. <laughs> I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise One 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Dee -dee -da -dum. Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Tower. Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston loves fetching. 
punching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Big Ben and Holly. <laughs> Catch Holly. <laughs> Catch Ben. <laughs> Let's play football. OK. I'll magic the ball a bit bigger. Uh, hang on. I'm still holding it. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Now I'm big! Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great. Now we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> big people are coming. Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry, you look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it... A block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, I threw it too far. Don't worry, I've got it. Ooh, wow. You can run really fast. And jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Ben. I mean, that's because I keep fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hocus pocus. Wow. Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is this a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Ooh. Lucy, home time. That's my dad. We have to go now. It was nice to meet you, Ben and Holly. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Ben, should I shrink us back to normal size? No, I like being big. I never want to be small again. <laughs> Me too. Dum de dum de do. Diddly diddly do. Hi, Strawberry. Ah, a big person. Come back, Strawberry. It's only us. Strawberry. <laughs> Giants are coming. Giants are coming. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, Dad. I just saw two huge big people coming this way. Yeah, big people with their big feet. And you never know where they're going to step with those big feet. Hello, everyone. 
It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magic dust big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly. But if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny. Bye, everyone. Bye. Home time! And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Oh, big people, sound the alarm. Big people, big people, lock your doors. It's OK, Mum, it's me. Oh, Ben, how did you get so big? Big! Holly magic to me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh, I think my tummy is a bit bigger than it was. Well, your tummy might have to go without. I'm used to feeding Ben the elf, not Ben the giant. Oh, no, no, no. No. Hello, I'm home. Ah, a giant! A giant! No, Daddy, it's me. My goodness, Holly! What happened to you? I magicked myself big and I want to stay big forever. Ah! Watch where you put those big feet. Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny. Oops, sorry, Nanny. Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves! Stop making toys! We need a giant sleeping bag! Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! A giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Ah! Ah! Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off and now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben, where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh, now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm, I didn't realise how hungry I was. I do like being small. Me too. <laughs> ben, Holly. That's Lucy. Do you want to play? Morning, Lucy. Oh, your 
tiny again. Yes, we are. We decided we like being little after all. Actually, I think I like you being little too. You're just the right size for an elf and a fairy. And you're just the right size for a big person. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>